thank you guys for uh, taking the time to talk to me today. Congratulations on the show. Really thank you very much. much. Thank you. No problem. No problem. And everybody was looking real good at the uh, premiere yesterday. So oh, oh, you, you already know. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, this is gonna be a good one. All right, uh, <laughs> let me see. Can we? Can I get yes, me? Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So Naki is kind of a movement, right? Like on a meta level, like Kamala Khan is kind of a movement, but like also like Naki in this in the story, I feel like she's like a force. Yeah, that's the oh, goal. Yeah, that's the goal, right? <laughs> uh, so, what do you want younger audiences to take out of your performance? Do you think that when they're going to see them and be like, whoa, like, wow, like she's like me, like she can really affect change, like, you know? I mean, yeah, I think that's the whole the purpose of the development of her character and, and just her feeling so comfortable with her identity and, and having young girls and people of all ages watching her and, and in that feeling comfortable with their identity, but also you know, fingers crossed, hopefully know that it's okay to not understand your identity for a little while and, and take the time to to get to know your identity and, and try things and, you know, just really understand that not knowing is just as okay as knowing. And it's a long process of getting there. And some people take less time than others, but seeing Nakia, you know, she has the line in episode two saying, you know, when I put this on, I feel like me seeing her just so confident and comfortable in that I hope we'll give just a little bit of of that like joy and you know just like ease of like she's got it maybe I can get it too right on I mean we all need that you know uh in our lives especially right now uh Matt so Bruno is kind of a bit of a mastermind uh highest compliment I can pay it. Was like, I love Static Shock and boy, yeah, howdy, yeah. he got a lot of Richie in him. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we know that there's something like a little deeper with Kamala and the comics. They've been through so much together over time. And you get a little grade of that. Like, who's who are these other friends? Like, we, we supposed to be like this. We supposed to be like this. What's going on? Do we see any more of that as the series progresses? You know, I growing up with, you know, Bruno, they, they, Bruno and Kamala grew up together and, and you can see it in, you know, the first episode when Bruno is setting up the Zuzu system. I mean, he's like family to them and, and he cares for Kamala so much and, and he's very protective. And then, you know, when, when this guy comes in, he's, you know, he's a little, you know, he's a little thrown off in the sense that, you know, um, he's very protective of Kamala and he does, he just wants what's right with her. And, and, you know, there, there is, there could be some jealousy. There could be some, some uh, insecurity there, uh, you know, but the dynamics definitely change not only after that, but obviously, you know, after the powers come into play and, and, you know, it'll be interesting to see how Bruno handles it and, and, and how, you know, his relationship with Kamala advances or how it declines or whatever, you know, I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, I'm very excited for, for you and for everyone to see. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I hope he figures out some way to, so he can go to his school thing and be like a hologram, like wait, yeah. <laughs> he'll figure it out. Uh, Rish, my my resident bad boy. So did that? Was that really you jumping off that house? No, no, I would, you know what? Like, yes, it was. Uh, no, 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 no. I have a brilliant stun double. No, Garrett, he's yeah, no, a dear friend of mine. Um, I am not that brave. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so with that whole performance in that, in that moment, you yeah. got like, sort of like this like, cool guy thing, especially like, you're, like you're on my shirt, like in the cool car and everything, everybody else is kind of like trying to like find a way. And he's so self-assured. Like, is oh. there, is, uh, how does that, how does that come through? Like, is it just like a, you feel like it's a mask? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like when he first comes into the school, you know, he's a new boy in town. So there's definitely that, like finding his feet. And I think he's surprised that he even gets invited to this party when he first meets Zoe and he ends up showing up. And I guess as he builds more of a relationship with Kamala, he feels more confident within himself. And something that I love that she says to him actually is that maybe you can make Jersey your home, you know, and that that's really important to him is to, to feel at home. Uh, Cause as he said, he's been traveling around a lot with his mom. So, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes, but yeah, it feels like their relationship could blossom like a flower uh, at the start on that date. So yeah, it's, it's definitely exciting. Okay. I got a question for all three of y'all. So uh, 
I, I've only seen two episodes. That's all I let us see. I wish we could have seen more. <laughs> Are y'all coming back for season two? Do you think you're going to give to come back for season two? I wish Mr. Five years. Wait, I'm asking the wrong people. Yeah. Come on, let's get it going. Let's get oh, it going. Man. Listen, yeah. somebody yeah. FaceTime my man. Put it out there. But yeah, it's crossed. <laughs> fingers, toes, so. everything crossed. Crossed. Yeah, exactly. So um, I just want to thank you guys for taking the time. I really enjoyed it. It's like it feels like your family and your friends while you're watching. And that is so cool. I know there's been talk about other parts of the show. (laughs) I know. It's like I'm just like, oh, man, like, wow. Like, I know these kids. Like, like, Bruno is the guy who set up my mama's router. when we first got internet. You know, like, come on. He's so relatable. We got a great (laughs) Bruno. Yeah.